When I first began to start my healing after being discarded by a narcissist um, back in 2016, I had a lot to overcome and understand about myself. Why did I get into this relationship? Um, why did I have a pattern of choosing these types of relationships, whether it be through friendships, whether it be through uh, intimate partners? And why did it culminate with me trying to take my life? I had a lot of questions about myself that I needed answers to. And... Although I went to therapy, I spent time in the hospital, no one could give me those answers because those answers truly had to come from within. I had to figure out who I was by myself without being in a relationship, um, if that makes sense. Um, I had to identify myself with myself from within instead of identifying myself as so-and-so's wife or so-and-so's girlfriend or so-and-so's fiance um, my identity would be so wrapped up in who I was with the other person that it made it so easy to lose myself in the fairy tale that the narcissist would create. So the very first step that I had to take was accepting my own part in what happened to me with the decisions that I made while also forgiving myself for my part in it. Now that is not to say that I thought it was okay to blame myself. That's not at all um, what I was doing. But as many red flags as I saw, I chose to continue in the relationship, even after catching him cheating, lying, confronting him, and, I, you know, and everything. And I still continued because I thought that because I felt like I was strong enough to change him. And you can't. That's that's one thing you have to accept right away. You absolutely cannot change another person. Not just a narcissist, but you can't change another person. And it's not your job to do so. So, how did I begin to work on myself? Well, in my situation... Um, he had obliterated my finances. So the very first thing that I had to do was get a job. I had to figure out, well, how was I going to pay the bills? I was literally penniless. I'm, when I say that, I mean that literally, in, in the very literal sense of the word, penniless. My water had been shut off. Um, I had to borrow money to get that turned back on. My rent was way behind. I just didn't know what I was going to do. And so while I was fretting and worrying about that, and I didn't have a car. So while I was worrying about that, um, I began to take the first step in my healing process. Now, I used uh, what was I had learned 
about was called the Love Dare Challenge. And this came from a movie called Fireproof uh, with Kirk Cameron. And it is a Christian-based movie. And while the movie focused on um, this Love Dare Challenge, focused on a husband and wife uh, reconnecting through various, through these 40 steps, I revamped it. And I revamped it to fall in love with myself again. In the movie, it was meant to fall in love with God first and each other. Again, I revamped it to also, for me, to to fall in love with God again and to fall in love with myself, to know myself and to be able to heal my, to heal myself from within and to let God heal me. Now, no, this is not going to be a, this is not a preaching video. So before you turn it off and it's not about that, what I'm going to do is present to you um, something I had started doing way back in the beginning of this channel. I, and I'm going to start over with it. Um, because obviously, as time goes on, I've grown more. And I'm going to literally rewrite this challenge to specifically focus on those trying to heal from abuse, especially narcissistic abuse. So, um, step one, this will be day one, is to accept your responsibility for the decisions you made that put you in certain situations that weren't healthy for you. You're not blaming yourself. That is not the point. You are not blaming yourself. You're just accepting that maybe you made some bad decisions, as I know that I did even when I saw the red flags and you're going to forgive yourself. You're going to stop the blame game and you're going to forgive yourself. Just apologize to the past you and accept the forgiveness. Forgive yourself. And mentally close your eyes, see uh, an erase board, uh, like a chalkboard. And on this chalkboard is written all the, the, the mistakes you've, you've made, um, the things that you've blamed yourself for, the, the red flags you may have ignored. And take the erase, the eraser and erase the board just just like when you were in school, just erase the board. Visualize seeing yourself erasing that board until it is completely wiped clean. And every time something comes up that reminds you of that past, erase it. If you feel guilt, if you feel hurt, if you feel blame, if you feel lost, if you feel anger, whatever comes up from that past relationship with the narcissist, take that eraser and just erase it off that board. Completely wipe it clean. And that is day one to being free from the narcissist.